Forty years ago today, Neil Armstrong became the first man ever to walk on the moon and as a result became an instant American hero. But since that time, the 78-year-old has remained a very reluctant hero. Commander Neil Armstrong's words defined a moment in our history. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong had the right stuff. He earned his wings before he had a driver's license. He test piloted 4,000 mile an hour rocket planes. And yet the man who realized one of our greatest dreams has remained largely an enigma. Of all of the astronauts, Neil really is on the far end of the systematic thinking engineering type. Uncomfortable in the spotlight, it took Armstrong over 30 years to grant his first television interview with our own Ed Bradley. I guess we all like to be recognized not for one uh, piece of fireworks, but for the ledger of our daily work. A professor at the University of Cincinnati in the 1970s and a board member of various corporations, Armstrong's most public role was on the commission investigating the Challenger disaster. I admire the character of integrity that he has lived his life with. That is a legacy for the first man on the moon that I think we can all be very proud of. Armstrong flies a glider now, still at home with his feet off the ground. And joining us now from Washington are Janet Armstrong, Neil's ex-wife, and their sons, Rick and Mark. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Janet, take me back to that time when that rocket is about to, to take off. These men, your husband and his friends, are uh, to go on an adventure unlike any other. Did you watch TV that day? No, we watched it live. We were um, on a boat on the Banana River okay. um, during, during launch, and uh, we watched it live. It was spectacular. People don't remember just the, the size of that rocket that took all that equipment up there, this giant rocket that, that took off. Did you have misgivings? Did you have fears? What were your concerns? Sure, I had fears. Uh, I had no misgivings. This is what Neil wanted to do, uh, and I knew that when I married him. Uh, the uh, the rocket was beautiful. It it just didn't the sound the, the it just got right to your heart. To, it went right through your body. It it was fabulous, and it was not the first time I had watched a launch, but this one was on a special mission. And at the time, we didn't know whether it was going to be successful or not, but it was. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that is lost maybe in all of these years is there's never ever any certainty when man ventures into space and this notion of landing on the moon, of walking on the moon. That night, uh, as you watch then on television, bring me back to that night and what you remember. Well, that, that night that they were due to land on the moon, we were gathered in our living room at home in, in, uh, in Texas. Uh, we had friends and family uh, with us, and uh, we all sat there. We, we watched as, as they uh, had their separation, and as they uh, flew down towards the moon, we, we were sitting in the living room waiting for them to land. Uh, it was, um, gosh, it was a, a wonderful experience. It, it was tense, yes. <laughs> Tense. You can bet. All right. Let me, I want to talk to these boys, Rick and Mark. Uh, how old were you respectively when, when your father uh, walked on the moon? Uh, I was 12. And I was six. All right. Then uh, as, a, as, a, as a 12 year old, you're old enough to have some understanding of, of, of what was happening. What do you remember from that night? Uh, you know, I remember it just, I, I, I knew it was going to work. I mean, I just, I just didn't have any doubt that everything was going to go well. I think maybe, maybe that's a naivety of a 12-year-old, but uh, I just fully expected everything to go on just as, as it turned out t t 
kids do. Yeah. Uh, and as a six-year-old, do you do you remember what, or was that was ja- dad was at work that night? <laughs> I do. I do. I do remember. Um, you know, I as a six-year-old, I was uh, I was blissfully unaware of of, of the dangers involved, mm. but. Uh, you know, but uh, but excited nonetheless, like like the rest of America, and hopeful. And hopeful. I cannot thank you all enough for taking the time to uh, share your memories uh, of that historic uh, journey and that amazing night that those of us uh, who are alive will never, ever forget. Thank you all for taking the time to speak with us. Take care. 